Chad here at DT Swiss. Boy, is it hot out here. And I think I need a break. So I'm gonna just show you real quick how easy it is to service our Star Ratchet hub. Wheels out of the bike, super simple Star Ratchet service. Just to show everyone exactly how simple this process is. I got a rag right here. I've got some of our special grease right here. Just so I don't get my gloves that greasy, I'm gonna take those off. Um, sometimes it's nice to keep them on. But what I tend to do is lock the wheel in between my legs, if you can see that. Grab that, give the cassette a quick little tug. Like you, if you saw me, I kind of just popped it off of there. What happens is the, the end cap locks our cassette mechanism on there, on everything. So now that that is off of there, you can see I'm just gonna lift this off. Move the rag out of the way so you can see. I'll get my hands dirty. Once that's off, we have the cassette. The one spring is actually in here, everyone. So I, you saw I took that out. Key thing to note with these springs is that the small portion of the, of the coil does touch the back of the star ratchet plate. More on that here in just a second. But I'm gonna put that back in the hub. Right now, we, as my head is sweating and dripping, I have my two star ratchets. Bam, there they are, greasy. You can see they're getting all kinds of black grease all over my hand. But now that we're just doing the simple star ratchet clean and maintain, we're just gonna wipe off all that gray, black grease just from it being broken down and we're just gonna apply some new grease. Again, this is just showing how, how easy this is. We like to tell everyone if you can change your tube, you can service your star ratchets even faster. Now we got the grease off of these. There they are, nice and clean. Put them down in my pack. What I'm gonna do is take my little special grease here. DT Swiss special grease is reddish, kind of pinkish, orangish grease. You see, I didn't put a lot on there. That's the key to the star ratchet system is not a lot of grease. Hear that? Not a lot of grease. Um, so we're just gonna put it right on the face of the ratchet. What I like to do is just put some on that face like you see, touch them together, um, take the excess and just wipe it off. I kind of just put it on my hands, but that's the most amount of grease you want to see in our Star Ratchet system. As you can see, I didn't get all the gray grease old stuff out of there, but hey, we're on the side of the trail and it's 100 degrees. Real quick, I just cleaned and greased them, but what we're going to do, I'll pull the rest of the hub apart just so everyone can see it. We have two ratchets, two springs, and a spacer sleeve. We can go ahead and put that spacer sleeve on there. Um, it just goes in, doesn't matter either way, but you see those springs, they do have that taper to them. So again, we want that smaller coil of that taper to be touching the ratchet. So they would sit just like that. If you picture quick release springs, we want that same, same aspect. You want that smaller taper pointing towards the center on both sides of those ratchets. So now that we put those on there, bam, 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 that's on. Wipe all the grease off my fingers. And we are almost done in the home stretch. We're gonna take this, make sure that's all lined up, get that bug off my leg, and give it a small spin backwards. Um, sometimes you can see that didn't wanna line up all the way because I had it sideways. As it, I'm just spinning it backwards, bam, we're ready to ride. Slap it back in the bike and ready to go. Thanks for visiting us, everyone. As you can see, I'm a little greasy and sweaty, but it is 100 degrees out here in the Grand Junction heat. Matt and Chad, DT Swiss. Thanks again. Take Dude, care. Let's get out of here. It's hot.